Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button as I bring you the latest information on streetwear and sneakers. In today's video, I'll be giving you an in-depth review on the Air Jordan 1 Wash Black. This shoe released on the 10th of June for retail price of 250 Australian dollars on the Nike Australia sneakers app. I actually totally forgot about this release on the Saturday night um, and wasn't able to grab my pair until the following morning and surprisingly there were still sizes available. I believe there's still pretty much a full size run on Nike Australia at the moment so if you are interested in copying I'll leave a uh, link to the Nike Australia website down below for your chance to cop. I'm actually not too sure why these are sitting because for me personally these are quite a neutral colorway so I thought they would have sold out instantly. I'm not too sure whether it's got anything to do with the current global financial crisis and inflation, um, but maybe sneakerheads are being more selective with what they choose to cop. No matter what the case might be, I'm just happy I was able to grab a pair because as soon as I saw early images of these, I knew I needed to grab a pair of these. Also, more pairs of these will be releasing this Saturday, the 17th of June through Culture Kings. Foot Locker Australia and also other retailers such as Subtype. Now let's get into the details of the shoes and the box. The lid of the box features a big black Nike swoosh logo that appears to be printed over a background that fades from grey to black. You can also see black speckles and streaks throughout the lid of the box which is a custom feature they have added for this release. In relation to the upper of the shoe it features a smooth white coloured leather base with faded grey suede overlays. This suede is soft to the touch and quite textured, however, it is not the best quality suede I have seen on a shoe. The Nike swoosh on the mid panel is also constructed with grey suede, whilst the Air Jordan Wings logo is painted in a sail colour. The medial side of the shoe is much like the lateral side, minus the Air Jordan Wings logo. The tongues are constructed with an off-white coloured canvas and have the classic Nike Air logo stitched at the top. The Nike Air logo on the tongue is red in colour with a black background. In relation to the details on the heel, the top of the heel collar features a lighter grey suede, whilst the bottom of the heel features more of the darker grey suede that is seen throughout the majority of the shoe. Sticking to the theme of a vintage and aged looking shoe, the midsoles have been painted in an off-white beige colour. The outsole of the shoe is constructed of black rubber panels. This is a standard Air Jordan 1 outsole where you can see the pivot point on the forefoot of the sole and a Nike Air logo on the middle of the outsole. These shoes arrived unlaced with standard white flat laces. However, an additional pair of black laces were provided so in the on feet portion of this video I will lace both of these up and you can do a comparison between the black and white coloured laces. I've also seen other YouTubers lace these up with sail coloured laces and I must say they look quite nice with sail coloured laces. Lastly, the insoles are white in colour with a red Nike Air logo printed. When it comes to the comfort of these shoes, these feel like any other Air Jordan 1 model. These are going to feel flat, firm and low to the ground with minimal cushioning. However, for everyday casual wear, you could get away with wearing these for a few hours quite comfortably. You just have to bear in mind that the Air Jordan 1 was constructed back in the 80s, so it's still using tech from that time. When it comes to the sizing of the Air Jordan 1, I always stick true to size. I'm a true size 11 in all my Nike and Jordan shoes and ordered these in a size 11. In my opinion, these do fit true to size, so I would recommend ordering your true size unless you have really, really wide feet and you might get away with ordering half a size up. Now with the review out of the way, let's throw these on feet and see how they look.
know in the comment section down below what were your thoughts on the Air Jordan 1 wash black colorway? Did you guys cop a pair or was this an easy pass for you? I have to say this was probably one of the most easiest Air Jordan 1 cops I've had um, and it was very refreshing to be able to cop a pair with ease and not have having to potentially source a pair through the resale market. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button and also comment your thoughts on the shoes down below. And on that note, I will see you guys in the next video.